Whilst laying awake in bed, with all the thunderstorms we have over here in London, God, you'd, th you'd think it would be summer, but no, London has to have thunderstorms in July. Anyway, I came up with the idea that I would put together just a quick mini-series on how to install expansion packs. Many synthesizers have third-party expansion packs you can purchase, expansion libraries and all kinds of all kinds of new sound additions from, from a number of, of third-party manufacturers. And they help in complementing the, the sound banks that you get with the shipped synthesizer. The first one I'm going to cover is Nexus, and then I'll be looking at all the main ones. So you have Gladiator, Psylymph, Omnisphere, some of Image Lion's own synthesizers like Harmless and Harmer. But I'm hoping to knock that out in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for those. So Nexus, Nexus being the most popular synthesizer at the moment, I figured this would be the best one to start with. So what you wanna do, open up Nexus, obviously. Go over to a little tab here called System. And here you have a list of all the expansion packs you have installed, which in my case is not that many. What you then need to do is you need to go to Import Data, Import Data here, and then go and then maneuver to wherever it is on your computer where you've got the Nexus VST installed along with the factory libraries and then the expansion packs as well. So I'm going to here, scroll down. I can find it. Here. Okay. So here's my folder that contains all my Nexus expansions. What I would advise is before you actually click on the expansion and import the data to copy it across to the main location of the Nexus uh, VST plugin. FL Studio wise, it tends to be under VST presets. I'll just find the shortcut quickly now. So yes, it's usually under Windows, Program Files, VST presets. It's going to vary on whether you use a Mac or whether you use a different, uh, sorry, or whether you use a different DAW. But essentially, ensure that it's installed along where everything else is. It just keeps it organised and keeps everything in the same place. Cool. Okay, so you pick the library you want to install. So I'm just going to pick Analog, hit Open, and as long as it works, you'll have imported expansions one here, no errors, and it's successfully imported. Click OK, go to library, and then you should see it showing up here and you can play around accordingly. I hope that helped. If you have any issues with installing any of the expansions, feel free to email me, drop me a comment and I'll help you out. Also stay tuned for future videos, including more in this installing expansion packs mini series. JC signing out.